Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episodes 3 and 4 of season 2 of Is the Order of Rabbit. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 3 and 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, let's not be like Oni Monogatari and make my ass cry. I just finished crying, and Jesus Christ. Give me happy tears, <laughs> not sad. I am hungry. You know what I would love right now? Cake. <laughs> or cookie. <laughs> or just anything. Mm -hmm. I might eat baked potato or something. My best girl. I just want food, I'm sorry. <laughs> Who the heck is that? Was she? Of course, she was another opening. But who the heck is that? I'm guessing we're not going to meet her until like later on in the series. Is she going to be a friend of Aoyama's in a way? <laughs> it's like nuts and flowers. Or a flower. <laughs> So that's why you're looking at the flower. Oh, Chino. You'll be good, honey. Excuse me. That is the weirdest, cutest bunny I've ever seen. How about something simple, like a flower, a tree, um, the sky? A house, maybe? Or a rabbit, yeah! Gia goes too freaking much. Oh my god. Okay.
So y'all gonna do the dance that she did at the end, the ending song dance? Like, please. Oh my god. Do that dance. It's so fucking cute. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, she needs something a little easier to draw. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shut up. <laughs> It's a little complicated. It would be better to take a picture of you and then use it as an example. Why don't you guys just show off stuff animals? Mm, it's like that sometimes. <laughs> oh, I mean, it looks good. I like all three. Your drawing is cute. No, it's not normal. It's cute. Yes, Megan, you did a really good job. I even love the fluffiness that she put on that picture. <laughs> How, yeah, an apple and a tea set. Yeah.
So pretty. I love Oh, damn. But can we see the picture? <laughs> Honestly, that one looks very abstract. <laughs> Okay, look, we're, we're settling on it. You're doing the dance from the ending. That's it. This ain't no freaking Prisma Alia ish. You're doing the dance from the ending song. That is the cutest thing ever. It was cute, though. Mm. <laughs> uh, no, but still, you guys are still at stage one. <laughs> no, it's a V, no, it's just for <laughs> school. <laughs> 
and dog squad. <laughs> oh my god. That's too adorable. Oh my god. <laughs> My poor baby. Well, yeah, I mean, you're going all out on your first try, on your first day. Yeah. So pretty. Yeah, you're getting good, though. Coco, how long have you been here? <laughs> oh my god, that looks so good. I'm hungry! Maybe I should eat something before I watch the next episode. Just to literally have like something in my tummy and then eat something else. <laughs> Christ, Liz is gonna be flawless in it. No. You two are just gonna suck. I I, I had that feeling. Jesus Christ. <laughs> mm. Poor baby. She sure did. <laughs> of course she is.
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, she does. You will, babe. It just takes time. I don't even think we'll be able to see the dance festival. I mean, we only got two minutes left. A exactly. Y'all still at stage one. Hmm. <laughs> that separation anxiety, yes, I get that. <laughs> oh. Can you? Can you really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. My baby, she's so graceful. Yeah. My child. I love her too damn much. She's so fucking cute. You have to love her. If you do not love Chino, you got a problem. Like, honestly. She's so fucking cute. And you have to love her. And Maya and Mago, like, they're just so adorable. Seeing Mago, like, be herself. Oh my god, that was so cute. She's so fucking adorable. Like, oh my god. But, like, Tippy, I can understand having that separation anxiety. We've all had that with an animal or someone who we really cared about. Because, like, okay. Before my two dogs that passed away, um, I had to go to New York. I was Well, I had a chance to go to New York, and I went. And it was a week without my dogs, and I was upset. And then by the time I got home um, from my chorus trip in New York, like, my dogs were so freaking happy. Cody, I, I was gone because I was hanging out with my dad for like mm, about maybe two, three hours and such. We went to lunch and did some other things and talked and stuff. I come home. This dog freaks the heck out. But if you know, if you have an animal, you get what I mean. But it's just so sweet. And they're like, oh my God, like you're home. Let me cry and get upset. Like, where did you go? Why did you leave me? It's that. But like, it's not that like, so cute. Oh my God. But I wish we got to see the dance recital. That would have been nice, but things happen. Still, it would have been fucking nice. That's all I wanted. They could have just seen the dance. And they could have did that dance. And they could have been so freaking cute. But the drawings. Let's just talk about the damn drawings. They all did a really good job on the drawings. Such like, my best girl, oh my god! <laughs> I love how I can change the conversation with, like, just one thing. But the drawings were good. I mean... Megu did so good on hers. I really liked hers a lot. It was so adorable. I mean, Liz. Fucking Liz. With her, like... Her fucking drawing. That was like a piece of art. You could put that in like a really nice behind museum of anime. Just drawing cute things and stuff. But like, Megu's was so adorable. Like, she tried her hardest. And she was like, it looked like cotton candy. Yeah, Tippy looked like a cotton candy but, uh, bunny. And I would have bought it for a whole bunch of money and put it in my room. Or somewhere in my house. Just to look at. I mean, it's very, like, it was adorable. Then you had that abstract work of art, which is very different for someone to draw. And with the different colors and everything for <laughs> Tippy. It was too fucking cute. Like, oh my god. <laughs> it's so adorable. It reminds you of, like, when you were a little kid and you would make something for your parents. And <laughs> they love it. And then eventually, like, later on, you wonder where that drawing went. And it goes, like, somewhere in the mysterious place. Like, either your parents will do one of two things. They'll throw it away. Or they'll put all of your stuff, like, all your projects and everything in, like, um... A storage container or something like that. Most of my projects were thrown away or put in the storage containers. Whatever, if I drew it or if I um, had to cut shit out, whatever. 
ish that's all but it was a sweet episode and it was very heartwarming and i loved it a lot but go ahead and pause the video and i will see you guys in one second for episode four okay episode two episode two episode four in three two one go What's up, Chino? Huh? Oh, good job! <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Hello, little dog. <laughs> You want to go in the bed? coconut what the hell happened oh <clears throat> No, it, it's just... <laughs> I'm still hungry even though I had toast.
Yeah, but then watch her drink some coffee and that's a whole another person. <laughs> They ordered it for you. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> hmm? Seriously? Well, start from the bottom and then work your way up. <laughs> I mean, I've never really been to a tea party, so I don't even know what you do either. Besides drink tea. Start from the bottom. Well, okay, hold on. Why don't you ask? <laughs> Poor baby. Mm -hmm. uh, no! Yeah, how are you guys gonna eat? <laughs> how are you guys gonna eat your, you know, afternoon tea set? Put your pinky out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So go back out there. And enjoy your food. 
Enjoy them sandwiches and scones and them cute little desserts. Chino! Is she coming? Or do you need to go home? See? No, no questions. Answered. Hello? <laughs> I think she's already up here. I don't think that's her. No, that could be her pillow. Oh, okay, no, stuff fleshies. <laughs> Oh God! No! 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 Let, let's not. It, it, you don't need to answer that. Was just a couple of minutes ago. You don't need to. Yeah, Coco was being very stranger than usual. <laughs> Nah, I, I think it's just that letter that she's got from her sister that so has to mean something, and it could possibly mean that her sister is coming to town. Oh, Cody, you scared the crap out of me. Oh, ne? Told you! <laughs> yeah, I, I think she just really wants to impress her sister.
Yeah. Okay, go lay down. Well, I mean, you look more grown up by the fact that you took a job. You're living on your own. Well, as kind of. But, I mean, yeah. I mean, if you tell your sister that when she comes, maybe either probably in the next seven minutes or next week it'll be fine. And, you know, she'll see that you've grown up. Oh my god. Nagu, you want cocoa? I just said you were frisbee, oh my god. You know, I have no idea. That too, but Ari, maybe until her sister actually gets here. Which, uh, which we only really have five minutes left, so I don't think she's going to be in this next episode. So I think she officially is going to come in five and six. Oh. That's all you had to do. You were doing everything perfectly. My voice just like scratched up or whatever. That was really weird. Like. <laughs> yeah. She knows right about that. Yeah, because in a way it would, like, help with her problems. And I think she'll do fine, but we're not really going to know until her sister actually gets here. Yeah, 
excited and nervous, but that's okay. That's typically like if you didn't get to see your parents for a whole year, wouldn't you be excited and nervous at the same time? A little martini. <laughs> so then if in season two this is when freaking Coco's sister comes so it's season three be when like whoever else has a family member comes like probably Coco again so maybe her brothers or her entire the rest of her family like what if her sister and Aoyama become really good friends oh my god that would be the best thing ever. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Same. Oh, she's pretty. That had to be her in the opening, so we already know. She's gorgeous, and she looks exactly like freaking Cocoa, so that's fine. She, heck, she might even act like Cocoa. I mean, uh, eventually, in a way, she looks like an older Cocoa, in a way. But she's cute. She looks very mature, even though we haven't seen her really act or heard her talk. We've just really only seen her in the opening, and then just her body right there. So, I mean, but yeah, I think it's going to be really good to see her next week. I hope that she really gets along with her, um, all the other characters. I'm kind of hoping that her and Aoyama have a friendship because I feel like they're the only other two adults in the series besides um, Chino's dad. So I kind of need older characters, like adults besides the father, people who are somewhat my age, to be in this, even though I still love the teenagers and the little kids. But still, you know, you always want an anime that still has people your age or like a little bit older than you and just be like, oh, I can relate to more of them on, on a nutshell and the shit that they have to go through, especially with Aoyama last season. <laughs> but I can't wait to see her. I think it's going to be really good, honestly. But Kokoa should be, it shouldn't have to really be nervous and everything. I mean, yeah, it's been a whole year since you've seen your sister or really any of your family members. So just relax it's gonna be fine you know take it day by day there's no reason to be like i need to impress my sister and be like i've been gone for a year look they all call me big sis you know mm, but <laughs> we're not gonna know until next week <laughs> really not even next week i'm not really gonna know until maybe either i can't really do i have time to film this tomorrow i think i do but then at the same time i don't I might have to wait until like either Wednesday or Thursday to watch episodes five and six. But I think it's going to be really good. And I think she's going to be really good in the cast. And honestly, can't wait to see her. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction to Futures <laughs> episodes three and four of season two of Izzy Order Rabbit. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the match squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episodes five and six. Bye, guys.